When we had last left the fledgling, they were to meet once again with Prince LaCroix and tell him of the good news that indeed the Sabbat taking up residence within the Hollowbrook Hotel had been defeated and no longer would they have to worry about their uh, attacks on Venture Tower and attempts to not retrieve but destroy the Ankaran sarcophagus completely. And so it was done and Prince LaCroix had another interesting tidbit of potential whatever going on. Yes, Prince LaCroix sought to form an alliance with the Anarchs in order to form a war band to go battle the the Kuei Jin and take them out as best the they could. Yes, his plan was to unite the Camarilla and the Anarchs together. However, that would require a meeting with none other than Nines Rodriguez, who, as it turned out, was hiding out at Griffith Park all this time. And so the fledgling traveled out there and met with Nines Rodriguez, who seemed surprisingly amicable at the idea of an alliance in order to wipe out the Kuei Jin, of course. However, just as an alliance was struck, so too was Nine struck by a gigantic fucking werewolf. It took him off the side of a cliff, went flying off to who knows where, and the fledgling was forced to deal with another. A giant freaky beast had appeared and chased them around the forests that burned, and somehow they managed to escape on the little, little dinghy tram, where they met with none other than Jack! Yes, and his cool car where they were taken back to Santa Monica, to their stinky little apartment, where they would probably trade words. This is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Welcome back. <laughs> Good God. Also, you know what? I had some time to think about what the fuck is actually going on here, right? And I was wondering, who started the fire? Obviously, it was not the Anarchs, right? There's no way. Unless... Okay, th there is a way. And a, the way is that... Maybe it was Jack? Who did it? Like, I guess there's a world in which Jack lights the fire in order to stop the alliance between the Anarchs and the Camarilla, but I really don't think so, right? That seems so out of character for him to put, like, a friend or ally in danger in that way, right? That doesn't seem... that doesn't track with me. But the real question is, do we think it was the Kuei Jin or LaCroix, right? Do we think it was one of them? I would say probably LaCroix, right? Because LaCroix would explicitly know where Nines Rodriguez is now, thanks to us, right? He could just have eyes on us and use us as a sort of living or unliving tracking device to pinpoint the location of Nines and then wipe out nines by lighting the fire and pissing off the werewolves, right? I feel like that's more likely. Because we know that, like, LaCroix has eyes and, and all that shit. Fuck, for all I know, he can track exactly where I am through some weird vampire shit. I don't know. Because <laughs> it seems, like, do the Kuei Jin have, have the methods to track us? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe? It's possible, right? Like, if somehow they knew what was going down in the woods there? I'm not sure. It seems way more likely that LaCroix did it, right? Though that said, I would say that, it, that if that is the case, it's LaCroix playing his hand way too early. I would say that, like, if LaCroix wanted to wipe uh, the player character, the fledgling out, and some like, quote-unquote, de facto leadership of the Anarchs, 
then let let them weaken themselves first by ramming up against the Kuei Jin, right? That makes more sense. But then again, I guess you could argue that LaCroix hasn't been acting sensibly because of his like immense lust for the whatever is inside of the sarcophagus, I guess, right? I don't know. Because wouldn't he prefer to have the assistance of of the Anarchs up until he can get the the sarcophagus open? Because what if he needs them, right? In which case, I would say it's more liable that it's the Kuei Jin who did it. And so, somehow they're able to track us, right? Because, you know, they, they do definitely have at their disposal things that we don't know about. Like, things that we don't really understand. Like the, uh, the shape-shifting and all that, right? Or maybe it was someone else, like, I don't know, Beckett? Eh, I don't think so. Anyway, let's talk to Jack here. Wake up. Look alive, kid. You better be on your feet and ready to move. Jack, what's going on here? What? What's going on? Jack, what's going on here? You're lucky I got to you first. Anyone else and you'd be a pile of cinders right now. What's going on? Get ready to run. Take everything you need. You're never coming back here. Oh shit, why? What happened? LaCroix put out the word. He says you're in league with the Kuei Jin, Ming Zhao's puppet. That you're the one who set up nines for her. See, he's figured it all out. And now your death is a big bullet point in his new unity campaign. There's a blood hunt on you. Wow. Huh. Interesting. That I'm the one who set up nines for her, when in reality it was probably him. Interesting. Alright, clever. Okay, I'm in league with the Kuei Jin? He had to turn things around on you real quick since you found out about his deal with Ming Zhao. This is his plan B. Plan A was to kill you in nines in Griffith Park. Now LaCroix is playing the victim. Mm. He tells it you were like his own child. He entrusted you with so much. And you took full advantage, sold out to the Kuei Jin, and cost the people their hero. They're saying Nines is dead and you killed him. That bastard. After all this time. Why would he... That doesn't make sense. <laughs> let's, let's go with that. But also, why does Jack not buy it? Right? If he's selling lies that Nines got killed, shouldn't all the Anarchs also be angry at me? Huh. Why would he... That doesn't make any sense. I know that. Come on. Look, I'm here to help you. Again. But damn it, it's time. Time for what? Time to make a choice. Did Nines make it out of Griffith Park? I hope you live to find out. What the hell am I supposed to do? You're gonna have to stay off the street and stay on the move. Cause it's open season on your ass. Vampire's gonna be bussing in from Sacramento to join in on this hunt. Oh shit, okay. Is that where all the really scary dudes live in Sacramento? <laughs> oh joy. You need backing. You need the protection of one of the factions. Friends are the last thing you want to be without right now. But you have to get out of here. You make it sound so easy. And I'll leave a trail of smoking ashes behind me. You make it sound so easy. I got a driver who can get you where you need to go. Interesting guy, you like him. But this place is being watched. He's across Santa Monica by the junkyard. Get there and he'll get you out of town. Is it a different driver? But then where? He'll take you wherever. Oh. Wherever you feel safest. Alright. Oh, is this me, like, making a choice for... Like, what faction I want to align with? Like, on a more... Not permanent basis, but on a more... I guess, ending-focused basis? <laughs> Am I choosing my ending, essentially, here? I don't know. Or maybe there's also stuff that you could have done ahead of time that would influence an ending? Hmm, I don't know. Alright. In case we don't see each other again, nice knowing you, kiddo. Give them hell. They deserve it. I will! Time's wasting. Go! Oh, jeez, okay. Hey. My computer is in downtown LA? I would... I would have liked to have checked my email. 
<laughs> Do you think you could go run out and get that real quick for me, Jack? No? Okay. <laughs> Anything good in here? I mean, we don't really have shit, do we? Let's see. What are our points at? Do you think we're going to get many points after this point? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Huh. I guess worst case, if we really want to, we could, like, drop a point into dodge or something like that. Right? If we really want to, but I'm not sure. We may get more XP. Let's see, anything new here? Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dev of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Aren't I the popular one? Is the implication that she's a vampire? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Who will be the lucky? Caller, you've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is, uh... Vigo. Is this new? Vigo? So... Vigo. Well, I'm pretty sure we heard it from Vigo no, before. I'm working late shift here at the uh, yacht club. Uh -huh. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? Um, you probably wouldn't know the brand. I uh, bought them in Italy. Ah, la Italia bella. Parlate italiano? I don't think we've heard this. Hello, caller. Is tonight a rerun? Deb. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news. No, I've totally heard this. Hello, Gomez. What's the latest conspiracy? Yeah, isn't this the very first one that we heard? Ever? I think that's the very first one ever. Right. In the downtown Let's area see here. To exercise caution and to seek medical treatment immediately if they exhibit symptoms that include fever, hacking cough, nausea, rashes or sores, painful discharges, or sudden sustained bleeding. A terrorist attack in Los Angeles has left several dead and many more wounded. Mm. The Venture Building was the site of an armed assault and bombing that has many city officials worried that more are likely to follow. Security tapes show several armed men enter the building around midnight. Shortly after this, cameras went dead when a bomb was set off on floor 10. The terrorists responsible were killed in the explosion. No group has taken responsibility for the bombing yet. This is the first time a terrorist attack has taken place in Los Angeles. More on the venture building attack as it breaks. I'm Fires surprised these vampires the can't like scale. Park in what fire officials oh. are deeming a mass scale a building like Spider-Man. Fires have been raging since around daybreak, and several fire crews from all over California have joined local firefighters to help contain the deadly blaze. The Griffith Park Observatory, a historical Los Angeles landmark featured in such movies as Rebel Without a Cause, was one of the many buildings consumed by the fires. Residents in the hills surrounding the park have already been evacuated, and several other neighborhoods are on alert. Investigators say that the fire was the work of an arsonist or arsonists that started the fires tactically in areas that would maximize the spread and range of the flames. We'll be providing up-to-the-minute coverage as information becomes available. A recent outbreak of several highly contagious diseases in downtown Los Angeles has CDC officials concerned Los Angeles may be a hot zone for a deadly new type of communicable virus. Local oh, isn't this the blood plague stuff? Increase in the amount of patients with severe respiratory illness, and many doctors say they may be ill-equipped to handle the surging number of new cases. The Center for Disease Control urges people in the downtown area to exercise caution and to seek medical treatment immediately if they exhibit symptoms that include fever, hacking cough, nausea, rashes, or sores, yeah, we heard the tail end of this, or sudden sustained bleeding. Several members of Congress are protesting the president's refusal to disclose details of meetings his staff had last year with the heads of several energy companies. They say measures agreed upon will increase air pollution and give large tax breaks to energy companies. An official statement issued by the president states that these meetings were meant to assist in the draft of a fairer energy bill that would cultivate enhanced pollutant tolerances and relax energy production risk burdens. Mobs of villagers in <laughs> Delhi, India, stole the policeman to death. Shit the don't change, I guess, huh? Man, a creature locals say has terrorized them for weeks and is thought to be responsible for the deaths of several village children. 
The deer man is reported as a seven-foot creature with horns that ambushes villagers at night. New Delhi has also been host to the monkey man, the bear man, and the Ooh. killer UFOs, all of which were later dismissed the monkey as mass man. hysteria. Weeks of Dude, is the monkey the man European real? Union, I want to meet the monkey man. European countries has led to a block of nations dropping out of the EU, causing exchange rates for the euro to plummet. Detractors of the EU and its founding countries are holding rallies aimed to remove its biggest supporters from office, arguing that the EU's inclusion of less politically stable countries will cause extended economic recession. A terrorist wow. attack in Los Angeles has left several dead and many more wounded. The venture Speaking of the site shit of don't change, huh? And bombing that has I guess that one kind of went through in some regards. To follow. Security tapes show several armed okay. men enter the building around midnight. Let's see. I guess we'll get out of here. Anything get else? Going. All right. Let's do a quick save. It sounds like we're about to, like, enter some real shit, huh? Anything else around here? Damn. Dude, Jack, you couldn't have brought me to, like, anywhere safer? Like, some kind of panic room or whatever? Just my crummy old, like, apartment? Okay. Is the idea that Jack is... Is Jack a friend in our email? Is that who Jack is? I don't know. Maybe? Alright, I'm quick saving again out of fear. <laughs> I mean, come on, after the werewolf... <laughs> oh shit. Are the helicopters for me? Or maybe it's just coincidence. There we go. You. Okay, let's quick save. I may have to enter the sewers, huh? Do you think I can? Oh, I can't actually. Okay. Oh, fuck! Okay. Fucking A. Oh man, Nosferatu as well, huh? Jeez. Ooh, listen to this. Holy shit, we really are in like the rumble zone, huh? Can I enter these places still? Look, I bet those are bad dudes down that way. Okay. Where did we have to go to get some shit? Hey. Thanks for coming back. I'd like to buy something. Uh, what we got today. <laughs> oh, hey, look. You do actually have a new item. A bush hook. Primarily used by gardeners when used for intents other than its original purpose, the results are frequently gory. Wow, melee combat requirement of 10. Hmm, huh, I would have never guessed. Okay. Should I buy some shit here? Probably. Or should I wait and go check in on Mercurio? Maybe I should at least buy, like, ammunition. Right? Like some of this. Okay. I feel good about that. Let's see. Let's get one of our other ranged weapons here ready. Okay. Good. We'll quick save. I guess everything is just going to be a fucking war zone or whatever. I wonder if, the, like, is the idea that this is a differently instanced version of the city? Like, this hub is a different version of the hub? I'd believe that. Here, can I get another quick suck over here? Are you gonna mind? Okay. Good. All right. Well, there's definitely some trouble down that way. Right? Where do I need to go again? It was by the, um, what do you call it? Shop. The chop shop, wasn't it? A blood hunt has been called on your sorry ass. You need to get across Santa Monica to a cab that is waiting for you. Okay. Good. Cool. Here, let's use our Glock, I think. 
because we might be able to make a like long distance shot if we well probably not <laughs> okay I'm gonna try and get over to Mercurio I think wait who is that is that just a person well, it's probably just a, a not weird looking vampire all right let's go in here <laughs> all right good Dude, what if Mercurio it, tries to kill me? Hey. Always a pleasure. What's tonight's order? So does he not know that I'm like wanted as shit for this blood hunt thing? Cause he's a ghoul himself. Shouldn't he know? Hmm. All right, equipment. You got anything here? Uh, looks like. No, not really. Nothing new. Okay. Sure. Should I sell something, maybe? Nah, I think we're okay. Okay. So is there- am I gonna be able to access a vendor lord again? Maybe I should just buy everything out, I'm, I don't know. That said, even if we wanted to, we've already got like a decent supply of, of ammo for our like heavy hitters. You know? So I wouldn't be- I wouldn't be hurting myself too much, I don't think. Okay. Did we leave anything in this? Nah. Alright, let's head on out of here. Good. Do you think we'll we'll just instantly draw aggro? Nah, we're okay. <laughs> Alright. Let us have this ready, though. Good. Okay. We're fine. God, we're gonna get ambushed in this fucking creepy alley. <laughs> oh, shit! Get the fuck back! Oh, you're a Malkavian, huh? Oh, sugar. Here, let's use a gun. Something that I'm good at using. There we are. Good enough. Ooh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. They're c it's coming in hot. Okay. Let's drink some of this. There we are. Whew, that didn't heal much. Okay. Yeah, that did not heal much at all. Oh, is it because my blood there on the right is full? Are, like, they continually spawning in or something? Holy fuck. Let's see here. I'm not sure if there's, like, unlimited spawns going on right now. Jesus, heat. Holy fuck, let's get the fuck back. Oh shit, we're blocked off here. No, I can jump this, right? <laughs> no, I can't. Alright, not from that side. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be tough. Jeez. Okay, let's see. Can I get a little healing going on? There we are. Yeah, I don't think we heal up if we're if our blood is full. So if we really need to, I guess we could just plop or pop blood buff. I think I can jump this one. I don't know. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I don't think we can get through. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
Yeah, we explicitly have to get through via the, um, what do you call it way. Okay. Let's do another quick save here. Good. All right. Let's see. Let us equip the Glock again. Good. That way we can just burn through some of this ammo. Yeah, we'll have to go through the parking garage, won't we? Okay. Let's try and get the the ranged person. Shit. Okay. Vampire jump! Oh, eat shit! There we go. Fuck, the extended combat music there... I don't know. <laughs> I guess it is kind of corny, but... <laughs> but, but it sounds so much like the, the main menu music and all that. Like when we're checking our character stats and shit. That I kind of love it. It's grown on me. <laughs> okay. Up here. Oh, no wonder why you dealt so much damage to me. I am wearing the, the good armor. Yeah, okay. Just double checking. Okay. Use this. Okay. Good. Now we saw someone in here, didn't we? I think so. What the fuck? I thought we did. Am I gonna have to go around to the pier or whatever? Ah, there's someone. But that may just be a dude. Yeah, this may just be a regular guy. Okay. Cool. Ooh, man, you got a lot in you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Let's quick save. All right. Let's just roll. All right. Any feet? Someone got ambush me from behind one of these vehicles. Like this person? Oh, yeah. You are ready to fuck. Okay. Any others? Nah, that's it. Okay. Looked like you were pulling out some kind of gun. Can I get some of that? No? Alright. Fine. Let's see. Are all these people bad? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Do you think we could go inside of Asylum, or it's probably closed off too? Alright. Let's quick save. Go. Put you in your fucking suit. Eat shit. Okay. Fuck, whiffing a lot of these. So maybe I could get a quick suck there. <laughs> All right. Good. Oh, don't mind if I do. Notice I didn't get a masquerade violation. I guess because we're like, because of the blood hunt or something. There we are. Can I enter here? Nope. Locked up. Okay. Fair enough. I've only got two bullets in this, right? Yeah. 
Okay. I'm actually going to drop this and pick up the semi-automatic. Or the automatic, I should say. Okay. Let's get that. Well, <laughs> you only got four right there. All right. We'll use the Utica. Like I said, I think it's good, good, uh, good practice to use up this other ammo. Okay. Oh, it's still you. Okay. Sure. Hey. Where to? I don't know. Just drive anywhere but here. Give me the hell out of Santa Monica. Hell, give me out of town. Are you certain the fee will be steep? Wait, what? Whatever, just drive. I don't care. I need to get out of town. Look, you don't know who I am, but you're best off doing what I say, understand? I don't care. I need to get out of town. Very well. Should we have bought everything then? Is that the implication? Oh. Oh, okay. Ellipses. Ahem. So, you know Jack? I'm having a hell of a night, let me tell you. So, you know Jack? I only recently made the acquaintance of Mr. Jack. He intrigues me very much. There are so few like him these nights, I think. But then, I only know what I hear from others about the kindred of this city. It sounds as if there are many who seek to sway the children of Cain to their side. Many who believe they shape the destiny of the blood. You work for Prince LaCroix, don't you? Yeah. For all his faults, he has the city's best interests at heart. I don't know about LaCroix, but the Camarilla is essential to kindred survival. I work for no one. I'm out of this city. Good riddance, L.A. Hmm. Do you think our, our character, despite everything, would still be in favor of LaCroix? I don't know if we're that fucking dumb. <laughs> right? I don't know. I definitely like that there is even a distinction here, though. Right? That you can be pro LaCroix or not pro LaCroix, but still pro Camarilla. Hmm. Like, I I love the, the nuance available. You know what? We're going to make use of this available nuance. I don't know about LaCroix, but the Camarilla is essential to kindred survival. The Camarilla. I once thought they could provide stability for our kind. But the LaCroix of the world have caught such hopes. Perhaps, if he could be deposed, I would regain my faith. How do I get rid of LaCroix, though? Who in the Camarilla would help? LaCroix is a lost cause. But I haven't given up on the Camarilla. What am I saying? Forget it. LaCroix is the best hope the city has. Hmm. I don't know. It feels like we're picking something now. All right. Is there a way in which my character could believe in still going the LaCroix route? Or do you just have to be like a complete dumbass to still want to do that at this point? Is there some feasible way in which I could like twist this into my character still being pro LaCroix? Hmm. We, I guess if we just don't believe Jack, right? If we don't believe what Jack has to say. But then who else could call the blood hunt? Right? I don't think you... Can can someone who isn't Prince call on a blood hunt against me? It would have to be him. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just don't see how believable it would be for us to be pro-LaCroix. Right? The, the only way in which I would I could understand that is if we're just like a, a dumbass right even if we are like 
in favor of all this shit. Like, he's he's very actively trying to kill us. <laughs> right? It's very plain as day that he he's trying to kill us. Hmm. How do I get rid of LaCroix, though? Who in the Camarilla would help? I have heard LaCroix is unpopular with others in the Camarilla. Did you know a prince cannot be put in power without the city's primogen? If there was one that wanted him removed, perhaps it could be made so. Oh. Uh, okay. Interesting. So Strauss still could have a role to play? Man, also, by the way, this dude is, like, super fucking low. He's probably the the most low audio balanced out of everyone we've encountered so far. Hmm. By the way, um, some folks wrote in a while back saying that there is a very widely popular fan theory that this dude, the cab driver, is Kane. That there's nothing, like, that explicitly says so in the game, but it's heavily implied. Okay, let's bring up Strauss. Yeah, Strauss wants the prince gone. I can drop you off downtown if you wish. But if the primogen is not a man of action, insurrection is not looked upon lightly. Strauss will do, I'm sure. We'll do it, I'm sure. Tremere Chantry, step on it. I have no idea what to do. I should take matters into my own hands. Like, is there a... I don't think there's a way in which I could reasonably still be pro LaCroix unless I'm just playing a stupid person, like someone who's just monumentally stupid. Right? Like what 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 kind of justification would what kind of like mental hoops would you need to jump through to still be pro LaCroix at this point? I don't know. I don't think there's any you can jump through without just being, like, unable to piece it together. Right? Yeah. Alright, Strauss will do it, I'm sure. I will take you to this representative of the Camarilla, if you have made up your mind to secure a future with them. Let's go. I have. Chantry, step on it. Wait, I'm having second thoughts. Honestly, I don't know what I should do. It is interesting that the game has kind of funneled us down this route of either pro LaCroix through and through or uh, Chantry or Ch Tremere Camarilla, <laughs> I guess. Strauss, I'll say. Huh. Like, we, we still, like, no matter what, because we've gone through so much shit, we... We're still being funneled away from anything pro-anarch, right? Which which is totally fair, I think. I, just, I guess I guess I'm saying I appreciate the nuance of there being, of even with this like great deception from Lacroix here, the game affords you nuance to still be like a pro Camarilla character if you want to, right? And not have to play like a complete moron who, for whatever reason, still wants to be pro LaCroix, even though he's very obviously trying to kill you immediately. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what happens. Experience is gained by completing quests. <laughs> Could you imagine getting through the entire game without investing any points into anything? All right. I'm, I'm sure there probably actually are people who do that, right? Speedruns with like zero XP speedrun or whatever, right? Let's see. Do I even know how to get back to you, dude? Here we go. Maybe I'll just hide out in here. <laughs> Seems safe. Hey, Strauss. Long time no see. Greetings, Neonate. I have heard of your recent difficulties with LaCroix. I can't say that I am surprised. Love of power always leads to betrayal. But I'm glad that you have survived. Yeah, and I remember kind of liking the shit that he was saying. Like, explicitly liking it for this, for my character, right? Liking some of the shit that he was saying uh, when we first started encountering and doing quests for him, you know? 
All right, thanks, Max. Listen, the prince has been double dealing with the Quay Jin. Mm, it is as I had feared. The beast takes many forms within us, and it seems that Lacroix has finally surrendered to its power. Please excuse me for a moment. Yes. Yes, I see. Of course, my lord. It will be done. The prince and his newfound eastern allies what? need to be dealt with swiftly and severely. You have proven your strength many times in this drama. Are you now ready to prove your loyalty to the Camarilla? That's why I'm here. Your loyalty will be remembered, but tread carefully, Neonate. I fear that this night heralds something far more sinister than the petty machinations of a rogue prince. What do you mean? I do not know. This sarcophagus seems to have unleashed a raging whirlwind, pulling all of those who surround it into this storm. I cannot see what secrets it holds, but be warned. A dark shadow falls across my mind. There are some powers best left undisturbed. I think that the Kuei Jin have the key to the sarcophagus. Then your path leads first to the Kuei Jin temple, where you must dispose of this Ming Shao and her minions. After you have secured the key, you must deal with Lacroix and his rabid dog. Only then will justice have been served. I understand. I will do what needs to be done for the Camarilla. Of that I have no doubt, Neonate. I wish you luck in the final act of this drama. Farewell. See ya, Max. Cool. Alright. Huh. You've survived the blood hunt, at least temporarily. So is it called off, then? Am I... Huh. It's... It... My impression is that it's still going on. Like, is, is the idea that I've just weathered the, the worst of the storm or whatever? Alright, Strauss wants you to kill Ming Zhao and the prince. In that order. Yeah, I do also kind of like the idea of of siding with Strauss, right? It kind of builds off of my character of not just like like openly being completely fascist, right? But more so like kowtowing to I don't know, the ideology, right? And kind of bending to it. Right? I don't know. But at the same time, like I said, even if you did want to play, like, a real complete piece of shit, like, full-on, full-blown fascista kind of character, I don't really understand how you could reasonably side with LaCroix through after all this, right? Like, I get, I get the, like, how you could make logical uh, leaps to sort of reinforce a, a line of incorrect thinking. All, uh, through a lot of this, right? But at this point, where it's it's kind of irrefutable, like... I guess it hinges on the fact whether or not someone else could have called the blood hunt on you. Which I don't think is possible, right? I don't know. I guess, I, I guess I'm, I'm not sure. Could someone else have called the blood hunt and we... And that's our... The idea behind uh, siding with LaCroix specifically? Is that um, we just don't believe that LaCroix would actually do that? Or is the idea that we're so fucking much of a fascist that we're willing to die for it? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, like we believe so much in LaCroix being such a massive, like, piece of shit that we're willing to put ourselves in, harm way, in harm's way to help this guy who wants us to die? Is, is that it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe? I don't know, maybe, maybe that's... Like, is that realistic? I don't know, maybe, shit, maybe it is. Maybe that that really does run through some people's heads. <laughs> on that, uh, on that side of the aisle, so to speak. Huh. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose we'll call it here a little bit earlier than anticipated. Right? I will say that, um... Uh, it wasn't the previous video, but the one before that, I think. Ended up coming out extremely late, like, so late that it was early, very early, or not even very early, but, like, mid-morning the next, the following day, right? And that's because it was, not only was I running late, but it ended up taking even longer than usual to get that video through YouTube processing. Because on their end, for whatever reason, 
Um, it was just going extremely slow that night. And I'm bringing this up because I think it's happening again tonight. Because I started recording this while I've still got a Skyrim video in the bank cooking and processing, right? So I'm fully expecting this to be another situation in which this will just have to go up at some, like, really wild-ass time that, that is not intentional. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that, that was also the reason why, if you were watching that video as it came out, you may have, or you may not have, right? I think it may have defaulted into not having any ads on it. It's it's either a case of, like, that video had essentially no, no ad breaks on it, or it had a shitload of them early on because they got auto-added by YouTube. Because essentially what I had to do with that is I had to auto, uh, make it go up automatically. Because I was just too fucking tired to, to stay up. I couldn't be bothered. So this is like, oh, I'll just have it go up whenever it's fucking ready. It'll just go automatically. And then when next time uh, I get up and I'm able to, I'll just take all the fucking ads off. Right. So that'll be the case with this one, likely. Unless uh, shit speeds up on YouTube's end. I don't know. They've had some updates recently. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen, but they've gotten rid of uh, the dislike bar across the board on everyone's channels. Right. Eh. What can you do? All right, well, when next we come back, man, it seems like we're really getting close to the fucking end. And for all I know, the next video may be the last in this playthrough. Holy shit. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>